audience hear me? Okay, I'm getting the thumbs up from Dion, so I'm just going to go ahead and start talking. Uh, Dion is working through some technical difficulties with his overlay, kind of resetting every time he clicks. So right now we're working on getting the timer going, but the round just started at 12:10 uh, uh, Pacific. So we're starting the timer on our end, um, and then we're going to get going. So, so Brian Bujaj, sorry, I'm going to butcher last names, is on the left with the Rebels. He's got three B wings and an X wing. Uh, I think I have his list here. So three B wings. Uh, we got two Blue Squadron veterans at P uh, Initiative Three with Selfless and Shield upgrade. Uh, then we got Braylon Strom in a B wing, and then we also have Biggs as the one uh, T65 X wings with just the title Servo uh, S foils. Um, Dion is currently working on the next list. I don't have that in front of me, but it's um, two Fangs, uh, Fen Rao and Old Tarak, and the Y wing is Cavill. Uh, yeah, so we're, yes, Dion's still working on the overlay. It, every time he clicks, it resets, clicks, resets. So he's getting progress, it's just going slow. Um, so yeah, so in essence, um, Brian on the left is a lot of shields. <laughs> I'll give him that. And right now he's turning over towards Fen Rao in the bottom right corner to see if um, Fen Rao is going to get uh, feisty, I guess we could say. And then uh, Cavill is up there with a uh, turret. Um, I can't quite see all the upgrades. Uh, Dion's getting close to posting all that. So yeah, just just bear with us. We have a like a cache problem on Chrome that's uh, causing some issues. Okay, and an old Tarox at the top. Yay, Dion! Progress. Okay, I'm back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, w uh, everything works until it doesn't, right? <laughs> exactly. Mm yeah, it was so weird. You you put in the new list, you hit enter, and it would go right back to round one and just reset everything. <laughs> yep. All righty. So let's get focused here. My name is Dio Morales, host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. You're watching round two. Th Dallas, thank you for taking the wheel there uh, while we got things started. I wanted to let you guys know that our round two is sponsored by Curled Paw Creatives. Um, he has been uh, just supporting us for the last, like, what, like almost almost six months. He's really helping us get off the ground here. And uh, he's got an awesome promotion for you guys. Look in that bottom right-hand corner. Promo code is MINOC2018. This is the most he's ever given off, guys. This is just for the Minox. 20% off. So make sure you get that order in now. 20% off. Uh, minimum order of $10. And, uh, and get that going. Get your curl paw tokens and stuff like that. As you can see out on the board, we do have some uh, larger formatted size there of the, of the tokens. You see shields and charge, all this stuff. And he made that promotional set for us for here at Gold Squadron Podcast. And before you ask, no, they're not on the store yet. You know, the, uh, the quote I got from him was, if people make enough noise, then maybe we can make this happen. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, get your get your templates, get your tokens. I love the target lock sets. I think that's probably <laughs> my favorite thing uh, that he's he's made right now. I love the tokens, obviously, but uh, this the idea that he had with putting those markers on the bases uh, is just absolutely fantastic. And uh, this round, we have a goal of getting five new or renews Twitch Prime subscribers. Looking for five. If we can get five, we uh, will be, we'll give away some stuff. Nice. Essentially is how this works. So five new subs. All right, guys. Want to see those subs. That's right. Come on out of the woodwork. That's right. All right, so Brian is on the left. He is flying the Rebels, mm -hmm. as stated before. I have a little bias towards him because he's dressed like Han Solo with a blaster as well. So I, no. I have a soft spot for that, This is even though he is Rebel scum. Yep, yep. You guys need to take a picture together and make sure that you... We'll uh, see. I don't know if I can stand that close to him, though. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed, per, per regulations. Per regulations. Maybe, maybe after the game. Maybe, maybe. Maybe after the game. Maybe. All righty. So and I will then, say... Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. In, in round one, we broke a, broke a record for viewers of, of a round one stream, which is awesome. So uh, thank you guys for watching, supporting, and sticking around. 
So then we also have Nathan on the right-hand side with the three scum ship list, which, yeah, I haven't seen a ton of this before. Um, granted, I haven't seen a ton in general, but mm -hmm. yeah, so we got Cavill, um, Ion Turret, tor Torpedoes on Solo and Expert Handling, Ultra Rock with Fearless, and Fenral with Fearless. So his two AC um, uh, fighters have just Fearless on them, and then Cavill is relatively loaded up. Now, I'm going to get some markers on the uh, the two generic B-Wings, so we can, uh, we can track that. That should be identical, yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put a number one, number two next to their names, and we'll get them some... Uh, some markers here. So pretty expected for the beginning. Um, Rebels uh, turned in towards Fen Rao just to make sure he wasn't trying to be sneaky and take a flank. And Fen Rao is smart enough not to fly into four Rebel ships. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's now currently going up the right side of the board. And Ultra Rock in the top kind of left. So right now just jockeying for positions. Uh, I know Nathan is probably going to do his best to try and get those Rebels to fly through the rocks, try to break up the Biggs formation. Mm -hmm. um, granted, B-Wings can fly decently slow through there with barrel rolling and all that, but it's still going to be a little tricky since Rebels want to stay in formation and Scum does not. Yeah, those B-Wings are beefy, man. Yeah, right. uh, with shield upgrade too. Right, with shield upgrade, five, uh, five shields, four hull, and then on top of that, they also have Biggs support. Yep. Like, it's really and, good. And, uh, what is it, selfless too. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're passing damage around. Uh, they're making sure to you know, have that synergy together. And while those abilities are range one, I'm curious to see how Brian, uh, like you of course want to wanna approach in this type of block setup to see if you can really keep those arcs focused and take something out. Mm -hmm. But you have the abil ability with those barrel rolls to widen up the set a little bit and, uh, and give yourself some options to try to box something in and create some blocks. Yep, so the big thing right now is um, Brian's actually turning into the rocks. Um, if he can time it well, it will give himself abilities to say, hey, in two, like one or two rounds, I need to be able to turn in here. So we'll see how well he can ne negotiate the rocks with his formation and see if he has to um, split up. So then it would be on Nathan to then see if he can pounce on if the formation does break or some of the arcs are off, if he can uh, pull in and get some nice long range shots with only taking one in return. All right, we got our markers out there. Dallas, you got to keep me honest. Remind me to move those around. <laughs> I'm sure the internet will also help quite <laughs> a lot as needed. <laughs> They're always here to help. Yep. <laughs> All right, so Cavill's keeping his distance. That's right. That, uh, that Cavill is really good. We saw this for the first time uh, on stream, actually at the Crossroads Classic, uh, where I was, where I was, uh, where I was out there. This Cavill is allowed to um, <laughs> to shoot a four die uh, ion turret out the front at range one. Yeah, at range one. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, so wa watch out for that. It even four, if four dies, even if the turret's on the side. Yeah. I'm, so it's crazy. I don't know if it'll matter as much in this match just mm -hmm. because of the low agility, but <laughs> it's still very impressive to roll four dice on an ion turret. Oh, yeah. Um, so what's, I'm kind of looking at old Tarak, and... He seems to be a little bit far out there, right? He is a little far out. I'm wondering if Nathan is going to take the risk of saying, hey, I'm going to blow past you, or I'm going to turn in and go away. So we'll see if Brian guess is right on the next move because generally it's you know the whole cat and mouse right is brian's right. ready to kind of move th generally that direction but not through the rock so then does he does he take the hard left or does he go straight mm -hmm. um so if you can catch um ultra rock going straight through or trying to turn in he'll be in good shape to grab one but we'll see if uh, nathan knows what he's doing and can uh, and can uh, catch that that's the hardest part is erasing it. You yeah, got it. I got it. Oh, I got it. Sweet. <laughs> I've not hit the erase button, so I wanna, didn't want to hit the close everything button. <laughs> All righty. You know what? Before I forget, let's go ahead and uh, we got to choose our champions, Dallas. we got to choose oh, our champions. Oh, champion time. It's champion time. All right. So do you guys want Nathan and the Scum three ship list to win with the Fang Fighters? Or do we want a good old Brian to win with the... Good old rubble B wings that are reemerging. Choose your champion. And bigs. And bigs, yeah. If, so if you like mustaches, it, th that th might help. This is this is the quadruple B list. B B B bigs. B B bigs. B B, -b, -b bigs. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Named. B B B bigs. It's funny and it actually uh, is reflective of what the list is. Mm -hmm. Like two and one. Yep. So if you're in Twitch chat, how do you vote? 
on your champion. One is for Brian, two is for Nathan. All you gotta do is type in that number. Get that in there. Yes, yeah, so in essence, um, Brian's gonna be super tanky having the bigs being able to draw uh, damage off and same with either of the two blade uh, B-wings to draw um, crits off with selfless. Um, actually, what's interesting is so we have the fiction EPTs or talents mm -hmm. going with uh, two selflessnesses. Is that how you say it? Selfless. Se selfless. Selflesses. 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 Uh, on the left side, and you also got two fearlesses on the right hand side. So, faction identity matchup. And right now, it's looking relatively even on the voting. So, come on, guys, vote. We got 30 and 27 votes. Vote. It matters. Three subs away from the giveaway. Thank you, Isaac Carter, for letting me know. You want swag? Press the button. Although I have to say again, normally you can't go right up to an asteroid with um, X-Wings in the past, but now X-Wing can follow those B-Wings right through. That's right. And barrel roll. All right, so Brian is thinking Going that, up the gut. that he's... He could be splitting, but um, he's not going to give up his uh, right flank to the other two following scum ships. All right, linking to the barrel roll, will it fit? I, I don't so. Oh, that is close. Although technically, if you're now touching the rock, it's a fail. Yeah, something like that. Because you're still range zero of a rock. Um, but yeah, he nails that one. So we'll see if he decides to continue straight on. Yeah, I think the plan is to try to try to grab Fen. I think. See if Fen gets a little too aggressive. Uh huh. See if hey, I see your bait. I'm not taking your bait. I'm going after the. I don't want that ulti. The switch. That's right. And by even though, you know, old Terra can still hit pretty hard. By facing your arcs away from him, you're not using his ability. Mm hmm. All right, so it looks like we're pretty split right now. Brian barely ahead in the voting. Cast your votes, guys. So this should fit. There it is. And we'll probably get that barrel roll there as well. Uh, no. Not no, it quite. didn't fit. Almost. Huh. Did he barrel roll backwards, maybe? Uh, I think because of the staggered formation when he started. Oh, you're right. You're right. Formation, you know. A little, a little bit, I but I don't stare at B-Wings that often. All right, let's move. Hopefully he wasn't planning on barrel rolling right with that guy. He might still make it if he really wants to try. No, never mind, he can't. Uh, for charge um, tokens, there is a massive stack over there on the bottom le right hand, the bottom left hand side of the camera. Um, what's the What's the question? Uh, how many charge tokens are potentially there? And I think it's a good like five inches stack oh, of tokens do, over there. Do we so have? We, yeah, so we have might, a ton. There might be enough. <laughs> we got it. We got enough. We're good. <laughs> um, this isn't quite PS PST uh, for me. It's. It's close, but it's not quite there. I'm just glad to see low agility ships that TIE Fighters can uh, rip apart again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Let's so see what the scum does. So this is going to be out of a target lock range. He does have proton torpedoes, though. So he's not... Do you think he can reach range over there? Oh, yeah, easily. Okay, yeah. he's got it. So it's going to be obstructed through a rock. Onto number one. All right. And here's Fen. Nope, this is uh, Old Terror Rock first. So there's a three bank. We'll probably get the boost in there. Oh, man. Terror Rock, if he turned in on you. Yeah, he would be. be Ballsy play. <laughs> it is, it is. Well, I mean. You kind of have to play it that way. You're like, uh -huh. these, that's, what, that's what these guys are meant to do. They, they want to use their Conquer Don um, ability to be able to, to do that kind of stuff. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it's I wonder if he's really good. I don't know if he's going to boost or not. It's hard to tell where that B-Wings arc is around that area. 
So I mean, I, even if you're out of arc, don't you just boost in there so that you can uh, get range one? Just take it. Potentially. So we'll see if that is an arc or not. But I don't know how uh, how conservative Nathan's going to be. Yeah. All right, two bank. All right, so it looks like so he didn't go crazy with Fen. Correct, which is good because he's still going to take a lot of shots. Yeah, that three bank would have put him right in between those two rocks, nowhere to escape. Um, what do you think? Do you think he's going to barrel roll out, try to get some distance? All right, so here's the boost. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. he's now, going I for this. Mean, he, he wants number one, roasted. All right, let's see if that pays off for him. Yep. Checking arc. That's so that means whoosh, focus gone off of that. That's using old Terox ability. All right, we're going to go ahead and close down that pole as well. 54 to the advantage of Brian. All right, so here we go. So this would be Fen Rao throwing five dice. Uh, we got two hits. Two hits. Three, no, three hits. Oh, three hits. He's got the white dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There right, it is. There's the other one right there. Three hits with Fearless. One of eight. One of eight. And then I'm wondering if he's doing any pulling stuff. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like Biggs is Just checking all the stuff. So that's from number one. And then I'm trying to remember if that's Biggs. And then number four. Oh, no, number four is the – so that's the B-wing at the bottom of the rebel list on the left left side of the screen. I got it. And then uh, I think Biggs is at the top. So shield off Biggs, shield off the B-wing. All right, now this is – Cavill shooting torpedo, I believe. Yep, that's so, so now we got hit hit crit going through. So again he's checking for his abilities. So Biggs is suffering a hit. And the rest come off from Braylon. All right, and there's the Han Gunner trigger. All right, Proton Torpedo coming in. It's going to be on that B-Wing number one over there. Mm -hmm. Two hits, two focuses, going to spend it. Oof. He spend, spends his focus. So down to three coming through. So Biggs is out. So number three takes that one. All right, so spreading that damage around like Rebels do. Yep, I'm going to move our ships around so that we can match how he has his setup.
All right, so number one is shooting at Fenn, top right. What's this, Braylon? Yeah. All right, two hits. Hmm. <laughs> he's, got, he's got to spend it. Oh, that's rough. Do you spend a focus now when you're taking three more shots? I mean, guarantee the damage now. All right. All right. Ooh. Ooh, hit, crit, crit, baby. Range two onto Fenrao. Ooh. Hit. hit. Full breach. This is immediately face up. I mean, they're crits anyway. Blinded, blinded pilot. So he's down the one hole there with a blinded and a hole breach. I'm just going to go ahead and put the blinded as the hole breach. doesn't matter. It'll kill him. Yep. Next card. Yeah, that definitely uh, knocks the knocks the wind out of Nathan probably. Yeah. Just well, let's see if, if let's see if Fenrau's even alive after the next two shots. Two hits. Two hits. All right, Fen. Oh, oh okay. Four. So he's doing the he's doing number four first, I assume. Sh number four shooting. Two evades. Got Ooh. it. All right, still alive. All right, I know that those uh, those white dice are a little hard to see. I got you. I'll take care of you guys. I'll let you know what it is. And here's the range two shot. Very good. Hit crit. Hit, hit, crit. Hit, hit, crit. Excuse me. With focus. And That's it. not enough. So Fen's Fen going. Rao bites the dust. And the Rebels did a really good job. Oh, well, Directed. He's Extra get, He's dead. getting pasted. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting vaporized. All righty. So I want to confirm damage here. I just want to go double check. I can, yeah, I can go right. If you could check how many shields these, because I don't know, because I know what he, stack, stack he like stacked them. If, it's, if that's one or two. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Runner. Yep. Um, as for giveaways this round, we're going to be giving away, because I did see somebody right there. Uh, Anakin's twin. Thank you so much. Isaac Carr, I think we need one more, right? One sub needed for the unlock giving giveaways. Remember Twitch Prime? You connect your uh, your Amazon Prime account to Twitch, and uh, and click that, get that free Twitch Prime subscription. It's literally free money. All right. So for cards for the Rebel side, starting from the bottom, working up, it's two shields, okay. three shields, two shields and zero shields. So number four so, so has two. Two? Yep. Then three. Okay. For number three. Then I believe Braylon has two shields. Right here, this is yep. two? And then Biggs at the top has zero. Zero. Okay, we got that. We got it. And I adjusted it to his, uh, Sweet. his layout now. Man. So yeah, so the Rebels did really good using all their abilities. To and, spread out that and damage. And the arcs as they needed, yeah. So they took a range one, or another range one, and yeah. a torpedo, and they're still all relatively healthy. They're really healthy. He hasn't even given them half points. He has on, not on even... nothing, right? Nothing. Look at that. Right there. Big fat zero there. No points given up. You know, this is this kind of passing damage around is the type of list that Fen Rao does not want to see no right like this nathan's list is all about going in fast you punch your opponent in the face and you decimate them uh so that they can't they, they can't do yeah, anything so did it so i know he had like a five dice shot on number one here so he was trying to x off number one but um in essence he took what three shields for for all that yeah firepower coming in with, yeah that's with the rebel abilities granted it wasn't the best uh dice rolling um, trying to, there we go, clearing the X. But yeah, no, that was amazing um, display of what the Rebels can do. Yeah, I think Nathan got a little stretched um, trying to say, hey, you know, I can get a range one shot and activate Fearless and right. everything. But. All right, well, here comes, uh, here comes Brian with those B-Wings. He's bringing it in. So I'm assuming he's going to try and pounce on Cavill now since Cavill can't 
get away from the majority of the guns of the Rebels. Waiting for uh, the other B-Wing there. All right. Oh, this might uh, this might be eating some rock. That's really close. Uh, if I was Brian, I would be holding down. All right. Can't see with the wrist. We'll R see. Ris risky business there. Risky business. R ah, risky. <laughs> and that looks clear. He's it, got does he it. Take an action. I'm assuming it's clear. Yep. Focus into linked barrel roll, probably. Yes. These B-Wings, they've gotten so much better with the maneuverability. And it's awesome to see these different ships on the table, right? Like, I, you know, people are, are out here talking about Red Line and, and, uh, and Whisper. And, of course, yeah, that was on our, our, our round one. But I want to show that, you know, these other ships that we haven't seen for too long can still be very good. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so far, I'm really liking Brian's list. Maybe... Maybe not that much, since I might have to play it eventually if it goes if it does well. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, so if Cavill can turn in left, and he made the right call, Brian might be in a little bit of hurt for this one round at least. It looks like Biggs is going one forward to determine that it's going to bump yep. by putting the two forward template yep. there. Yep, smart. And uh, just moves moves there. Um. Yeah, I really hope Cavill did a major left turn since he's got his arc already pointed to the, uh, let's see, right side is starboard side. Did I, ha did I have that correct? Oh, gosh, I don't his know. His left is port, I'm assuming. Internet, please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's going all for Cavill. And that one's also going to bump. So he's got a he's got a nice little conga line going, just making sure to keep those B wings together the death by, array. by uh, by Biggs to use his ability. Which, if you guys are not familiar, I know. Uh, sorry, we didn't actually mention it while, while it was going on. Let's go ahead and read Biggs' new ability. It says, when another friendly ship at range zero to one defends before the neutralized result step, if you are in the attack arc, you may suffer one hit or crit to cancel one matching result. So it's just that's his his ability essentially is selfless plus draw their fire mm -hmm. from first edition if you're familiar with those cards. Now Cavill turning away uh, safe from the rock. The ion cannon is pointed to the right. The issue with ion cannon, while most likely he will be able to hit here and get something ionized if he mm -hmm. gets two hits through, uh, it doesn't deal damage. Yeah, it only does, right, one it really does one, so he can't. So unfortunately, I think in this match, he'd rather have it the reverse to say, hey, if I get one hit, I get an ion, and then the extra hits, I do damage. But unfortunately, he's probably just going to stack a lot of extra ions that won't do much against small base ships because you only need one ion to uh, ionize a small base ship. All right, All there. Right. Well, at least Terok can... Uh, Start uh, picking away at the back. That's right. See, would Get you have the wounded gazelles in the back. <laughs> yup. So, so far, um, I think Nathan is doing what he needs to do this turn uh, to get himself back in this game. He's going to have a range one shot at Biggs. No mods, but uh, can still still do some damage. If you got dice, you can, you can leave it up to the gods. See what happens. Dice yep. gods. Fearless does not trigger on Old Terok when he sh shoots, by the way, because he has to be inside the uh, defender's firing arc, front firing arc. All right, so only one hit there. Excuse me, two hits on the uh, ion cannon. You can see it on the right side. Just two little red blips. Yep, so one ion is going to go through. Mm -hmm. Well, just one hit, oh, no sorry, ions. Oh, sorry, sorry. One, one hit goes through before ions. Yep, so that's a hit on Biggs. My bad. This shows you how often I play against Ion. <laughs> and that's going to be half points on Biggs there. 24 points scored by Nathan. And now this should probably be Tarak into... Uh, Biggs, most likely. Yeah.
LW Lock, I believe you have unlocked our Twitch giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Woo, giveaway's live, baby. All right. It's range one here. Trying to identify That's a guys. hit, hit, crit, I believe. And something. That's an eyeball. That he's using Fearless on? He can't use Fearless. He's not in the, defen the uh, defender's front firing arc. So, yeah, just the three. Yeah. One hit, two crits. Do I... Yeah. And there's Biggs, and that's gonna kill him. He only had three left, unless, wait, he does have some shenanigans. He's going through his options, whether or not he wants to use selfless. I'm imagining so. Well, because I think the two B-Wings could trigger two Fearlesses, right? So I pull one crit off to one B-Wing, pull the one crit off to the other B-Wing. Well, Selfless, if, is it only hits or crits? Oh, and uh, no, oh, it is, they are crits. But uh, is it front arc as well for that? Nope. Just range range zero to one. But you have to be in the attacker's arc. So, okay. So he, did, so yeah, so he does not have He arc, doesn't have any of them. So he can't use that. No Selfless. He's just dead. Hit. Oh, this was Ion. Oh, yeah. We had that wrong. Internet Sorry about that. Us. Sorry about that. It was four dice because he has. He got it wrong. So that was Cavill shooting from the rock at. Uh, or Why did he roll four? Uh, uh, out of. Oh, sorry. Cav Cavill's the ion ability. cannon is three, three. Sorry. And then Cavill makes it, got it four. Yep, yep. My bad, guys. My bad. Although, should he have been rolling three green dice for the rock? Maybe, maybe it was clear. No, just two. Uh, oh, no, you're right. It would have been three. So now, so now we're on to the rebel shots. So I think he's going to try and start with the guy in the back. And get one hit. Two, one evade. There it is. All right, response. And this should be two hits. One of a spends a focus. That's uh, no Cavill damage in the cavil. All right, so Nathan, and he should be out of arc of the other two front B wings. So yeah, cavil should be should be uh, smooth sailing right now. Now both these players are one and zero. Oh. We are in round two. Remember, we're on the west coast of the United States. So for some of you who are watch who are usually watching, it feels like it should be a later round. It is not. It is only round two. Both one and one. We're going to be keeping the uh, the games for the undefeated players and X and ones as well, mm -hmm. because you're not out of the event until you're uh, X and two. Yep. So and then the special thing for the Minoc Open, if you do not know, is um, if you get to six and zero on Swiss. You earn yourself a single loss for the top cut. Yep. So you could actually go in six and zero, oh, lose your first game on day two, yep. and be like, "Hey, I'm still in the tournament. Yeah, it's not exactly. single elimination for me anymore." The, the game following that, it would still be, it would then become single elimination. Yep. But D is very interested to see if we'll get somebody to go all the way, get to the last table, lose, and then and win then the play second the same one. Guy I again. know it's crazy. I know it's your a strategy really, now. It's a really interesting uh, matchup because you don't know how hard, how hard do you try in that first uh -huh. one. Do you use an alternate strategy? Oh, it's <laughs> All right, so let's see. It's great. So for this turn, I think Nathan's looking solid. Um, most likely, K turns from the B wings. I'm assuming that can. Yeah, you want to. You got to get Cavill. You got to get Cavill. You got to get Tarak. Um, I mean, he hasn't scratched Cavill yet, so you can go after either. I think it depends on how 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 aggressive do we think Nathan's going to be. Um, most likely keep pulling in um, old Tarak. He's got to start making up some some damage. So, but he does have to watch out for those unmodified uh, two K turns or or even one talent rolls. Yeah, 
that they can do now. Yeah, because if you get you get this K. Uh, the other one as well. This one, Braylon fits there. Uh, I think. I think that it's a way. It's a two K. Uh, the thing is, Biggs has to move at initiative three. Um, hopefully, he can move first and, out, and block himself because he's ioned. True. So. Oh, but they're stressed oh, right, from right, the right. from the uh, the rolling. Just yeah, one yeah. forward. So. So yeah, uh, Cavill's in great shape because of the stress on the B-Wings. So I think what's going to hurt Brian this turn is the, the lack of maneuverability mm -hmm. on, uh, on the B-Wings is going to cause require him to take an extra turn yep. before he, he can uh, he can't officially he can can't efficiently kind of turn around due to the stress and the rocks. So he he flew into the rocks early and got Ben Rao, which he needed to, but now he... Um, was not able to get enough guns on Cavill to do anything, and now he's paying the positioning uh, price. All right, so it's just uh, measuring that lock. He's got it. Or he had measured that lock, mm -hmm. excuse me, already. So double target locks on Old Tarak. Biggs already moved with the ions, mm -hmm. the self block, and here's the yep. 2K from Braylon. Upside down Braylon. Never see it coming. <laughs> I love the rotating B wings. I will say, streaming it, I'm looking for a different shape than what I'm <laughs> seeing there, uh, but it works. All right, so Braylon turning in here using that uh, that side arc. Or yeah, Cavill getting ready for. Is he out of the front arc? That's close. I think that's in front arc. But he can choose. Still choose. He can still choose to fire mm -hmm. the side, and it still works. And Old Tarak, two turning, no actions here. He's going to have to trade range one shots with Braylon. And Braylon's ability is going to be live on this. It says, while you defend or perform an attack, if you are stressed, which he is from the K turn, uh, you may re-roll up to two of your dice. So he's he's got a, essentially a target lock and uh, some defensive modifiers on this one too. Yep. Defense. And that might be range one. And once they get the final position going. Yeah, it should definitely be range one. Brian honestly would have preferred it to be range two, but yep, for sure. <laughs> you can't have everything. Can't have it all. I want to thank everybody for watching. Where are you guys from? Post it in the chat. Where are you watching from? So Cavill activates first, Han Gunner. And he is firing a torpedo. Yep. Okay. See if we can get that Biggs. Boom. That's one hit, one crit. He's got the lock for the reroll. He's got a focus already. Okay. So he, he is spending right. it all. He wants to guarantee that it dies. Or is he going for uh, Braylon? This is on Biggs. Is that Torpedo? All right, so they're they're asking, uh, Brian's asking about. Well, so the question is, um, if, excuse me. <clears throat> 
Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind. The question is whether or not the attack arc for for the for Cavill would trigger um, the, the turret arc on the side with that triggered selfless, but it doesn't. I don't think it does because the attack arc is going to be the front when it comes to that that oh, selfless for the, attack. For the proton. Yeah. Got it. Because otherwise you would say, hey, the two B wings are in Cavill's right. arc, so they can use their abilities. Exactly. Er all right, but yeah, it doesn't. It ends up not mattering. All right, so there goes all the cards. Bigs off the board, and Nathan is starting to gain some ground. Cause yeah, let me just go double check the selfless wording. If it says the attack arc, if you are in the attack arc, so no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't have triggered. I don't think so. Unofficial judge ruling, but yep. that's that's what that would be my opinion. All right, and then this is Turok against. Yep, they're Rayo. fearless for two. Slightly disappointing. He gets a re-roll with his ability. Nothing. So Biggs is not off the board yet. Yep. And Biggs <laughs> yep. uses his ability to yep. to yep. pass yep. that off. Using that new um, that new timing window yeah. for simultaneous fire. Yeah, since um, the two firers are at the same initiative, yep. Biggs does not get removed until all the initiative fives have gone. Um, so in essence, when when uh, Tarok just shot, Biggs Ooh. is still full hit. Ooh, three hits but, but and Raylan a crit is, going. Raylan is mad. He pissed off. <laughs> that crit is the is the big thing. All right, so right. Concord Don, he's still taking hit crit. Look like maybe a damage sensor array. Da disabled power regulator before you engage. Yeah, so that's on the next uh, next attack. And that is for an ion? Yes. For those that haven't been through the damage deck multiple times yeah, yet. So, yeah, before you engage, gain one ion token and then flip this over. Mm. Uh, before I forget, i got to say thank you to JM Gover, JMC Gover for becoming a Twitch Prime subscriber and Ling Varian for becoming a Tier 1 subscriber. Thank you so much, guys. And everybody else, i got to go back and get your guys' names. I'm going to start scrolling now while we continue here. Uh, thank you to Random Rick and CompuDiver. These are all always really interesting names. Quick Kind, Romans44, Hayabusa547. Our raffles are, are thanks to these guys, these guys who subbed. Thank you guys so much. Nice. LW Lock, you guys making it happen. And one more. I said that one already. Okay, cool. So with uh, man, that Biggs ability is really good at that same initiative. <laughs> that was really yeah, good. Yeah, he is. He's got a new lease on life with that ability. Um, so I'd say overall, that was a great turn for Nathan until that last shot. Yeah. <laughs> then that brought the rebels back up a little bit. So now trying to evaluate the board state. So you still got the three B wings. Pretty sure we know what they're all doing for the most part. Yeah, they're going to K turn. There's, there's the no reason two not to. Two on the to. left are going to K turn since now they're not stressed. Now they're not. <laughs> uh, Braylon is, so he, he's not doing that. Um, so now can Nathan pounce effectively onto Braylon? Uh, Isaac. My, my mod, Isaac Carr, asking, with that many subs, I think we've already unlocked the giveaways for next round, right? <laughs> like, how about, how about maybe we lowered the threshold? How about that? <laughs> I'll meet you in the middle. Lower the threshold. <laughs> All righty, so... Yeah, this this is a big turn. If uh, if Nathan can figure out a way to get Terok in a position where he's minimizing the shots and trying to take on his these ships one on one, like you have half hour left. I don't think you know turning to the left with Terok here is going to be the right choice. I think you need to kind of get around, 
you know, and, and see if you can get Brian to separate these B-Wings and start taking them out mm -hmm. one by one. Yep. They only got one agility. Yep. And now they're starting to hurt a little bit. Not not a ton, but mm -hmm. they're running out of shields to do fearless all the time. Yep. Or uh, selfless. All right, so is the slight angle there going to be an issue? Most likely not. Somebody in the chat asking, are the B-Wings movable now? Uh, no, that's a that's a magnet mod. Oh yeah, and good good point, chat. Uh, the chat, Tarok will be ionized after he attacks. He's he's got to get out of there. Mm -hmm. He has to get out and get in a spot where Brian can't can't get him. Which I don't know where that is. Does a three bank clear here? Um, I think it might clip right there. It oh. might. It's Tarok. I don't know. That's quite an interesting bump there. Yeah, weird angle. Happens. Now, Terok and Calvler are both initiative five, so Nathan can move them at. Oh, uh, Nathan's feeling gutsy. <laughs> All righty, he's going for it. Um, that clears the stress. He's, he has to boost. Mm -hmm. Concord Don take the wheel. Yep. That's the plan here. He'll have range one to uh, what we have marked as number two. Um, I don't know if it, he's going to have it to number one, though. That's real close to range one on the back mm -hmm. B wing. Yeah. yeah. 592 people watching across both Twitch and YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had somebody ask me the other day, where do you prefer me to watch? Watch on Twitch. That's where all the prizes get given away. But if you can't watch on Twitch and you prefer YouTube, that's fine too. That's why I, I literally do it to both. Polar Buds, thank you for your Twitch Prime subscription. I'm going through all the tokens. What do I have? He, he gets another. Yes, Daddy, may I have another. Removes the crit token because he's engaging. And the disabled power regulator gets in there. Alrighty, it's gonna be range one, four dice. Fearless will trigger, two hits. Uh, gets an evade. So it's just gonna be taking one onto that bottom B wing. Number one. Could be better. So just two hits. That's Cavils. Yeah, it's Cavil into Braylon. So that's going to hit and give an eye on. There was the uh, re-roll. Mm -hmm. So he's taking a range two shot first from the back B wing into old Tarak. Let's see how unmodified dice do. Hit crit. Nope, runaway dice. He has a target lock. Ooh. Got it. Hit crit crit. Oof. Those crits are always super rough. No, uh, no concord done on this shot. That's that's one eyeball. That's blank. it. Blank, blank, blank eyeball. He's just going for it. Hit direct. That's it. That's uh. game. No, sorry. Oh. Excuse me. That's that's Tarak. That's Tarak. That's rough. So it's just 
just Cavill left on the board. And he still has an extra shot. All right, two hits. It's not a... So shields are down on Cavill. So Cavill was in a good position to take on Braylon and just have him walked as he yeah. heads down. But now, unfortunately, Braylon's two friends are coming back. Yeah, I mean, you essentially, with those B-wings in the back there, you, you take them, you two forward, one bank. You just, you just keep them behind... I don't know, you know, I always like to try to find paths for victory even when players are behind. Uh, but the score is really indicative of, of where we're at, right? 130 mm -hmm. to 48, you see it at the top of your screen there. Uh, I don't know how, how he can dig himself out. Not with, not, if the turret that he had uh, had been dorsal turret, right? And the, had the ability to, to just- Five dice. Have, yeah, four have, dice. have four dice and, and just start wrecking things like that, then maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know with a one, one hit at a time ion cabin or even potentially three out the front. You need more spike damage, I think, in order to try to, uh, try against, to get it. At least against this list. He, yeah. got, he got the, uh, the brunt end of the new mechanic of the ioning of the ion turret. Yep. And also losing Fenrau early definitely hurts a lot. All right. <clears throat> One bank, you know, he knows that most likely Nathan's going to be going uh, going down the bottom of the board, try to take out that Braylon. Focus. I think I'd like to see him maybe split these B wings here. See if he can uh, make a make a kill box. Be super safe. Yeah. Make sure he has at least one shot per round, as opposed to trying to yep. end it this round. Focus. Uh, there's a stress. No, he's gonna. He's barrel rolling as well. I mean, doing that avoids the face-to-face -face confrontation. Mm -hmm. If, uh, if like, well, sorry, it doesn't even doesn't even matter anymore because uh, yeah, the I fangs are gone. Sorry, I was thinking about uh, going up against the fangs. <laughs> Isaac Carr talking about <laughs> he he was digging on Patreon. Okay, yes, that was a that was a very funny joke. And if we ever got to 800, like, if you're curious what, what I'm laughing about, go to patreon.com slash gold squadron, look at the goals, and look at the 800 patron goal, and you'll see what I'm giggling at. Have some fun with that one. It's a joke. Would I do it? Probably. <laughs> I, might, I might swap it for a regular tattoo than, <laughs> than, a, than a tramp stamp. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. Yeah, it was it – was, it was a, I dare you to put it on there for a while. I said, fine, I'll put it on there. It won't happen in the time that you say. All righty. So that seems to be a range two shot out the side going at uh, B-Wing in the front. Nice. Well, that'll definitely get it. That's going to hit, but that's... I keep, yeah. I keep getting excited. It's gonna, it's one hit. Yeah, see, and yeah. uh, and three ions. It's the wrong, it's the wrong mechanic for this matchup. Yeah. And one shield down there. Shields are gone. <laughs> There's the three ions. <laughs> they all clear at the same they, time. Yeah. Just so you guys know. It's just counting for medium base or big base. And the B-Wing should be striking back here. There's two hits. Got the evade. Takes one. All right. You know, if you just don't take damage, you could definitely get ahead too. True. <laughs> I mean, if, 
Brian still has to roll hits. Hit crit, it spends a focus. Super hard. Takes a crit. Loose stabilizer. So loose stabilizer for uh, those of you who aren't aware, um, that is the, you do a white maneuver, get a stress, right? I believe so. I'm gonna have to Google it again. <laughs> I usually have a damage deck here with me and I forgot it. <laughs> yeah, normally I'm like, hey, I know the damage deck and I realize, oh wait, that's the old one. Second edition, <laughs> yep. All right, so um, you know the way this game opened up, I really l liked Nathan's approach. I think just the, a little bit of aggression with Fen Rao really caught him. I think he was banking on that whole bait and switch working, where hey, mm -hmm. I got Terok coming in. You're probably gonna go at Terok. I'm gonna flank you with yeah. Fen Rao. Um, granted, he did pull in Terok, so he would have had a problem with his ship on the left hand side as yep. well. But um, I guess that's just the style, right? With uh, fangs, you want to get in there, get in their face, get some damage in, and start activating powers. Mm -hmm. The trouble is when you're facing four shots back at you at range two or one, they're not invincible. Braylon Strom is currently stressed, so no turnaround maneuvers for him. And that looks to be on the rock, the one forward. Oh, no. Because he was, he was stressed. He had no uh -huh. choice. So no attack there. Takes a hit. That's going to be a damage card on that B-Wing. I'm surprised he didn't try to do the jump method with the other one. I don't know. Might have hit the rock with the other guy as well. And one forward here as well. And here is the linked barrel roll. I will say linked actions is one of the, like one of my favorite things in second edition that they've added. Mm -hmm. Is you know having giving these ships these different options gives you lots of, lots of, uh, different choices. Everybody doesn't want to put push to limit on their ship mm -hmm. anymore because it doesn't exist. But yeah, it is interesting how the quote unquote generics now have a pseudo PTL and like we've seen in this game, he's been barrel rolling fo or focus barrel rolling almost like every round he can it seems mm -hmm. like it's like hey I want a barrel roll. yeah let's take a focus on that too yep so yeah I think these B-Wings are now back to being the knife fighters they're designed to be that bumps Braylon alright looks like our timer is one minute ahead just so you guys know be aware one minute ahead. It's just some lag. Yeah. Just some latency. <laughs> so I guess, sorry, the stress out there wasn't on the B-Wing. It was on uh, on Cavill from the Han Gunner trigger. Okay, there is the uh, Han Gunner trigger. Takes the focus. And the stress. All right, we're waiting for our first set of shots here. Mm -hmm. Debating on his uh, his uh, options here, who does he want to shoot with that ion cannon? So if he gets ion on number two, well, let's see what. Just enough. We'll see. Yeah, if, if it's just one hit, they're checking if it's obstructed. So he is going for Ion on number two. All right, so that's that's gonna he's gonna take a damage and be Ioned. 
Uh, this is their, no, there's no crew in there. All right, yeah, so that's that's happening. Oh, Nathan has a tool here that he's he's using. He's got that eye yep. on. If he can keep, if the B wings can't shoot him, he can start. Because number three should clip the rock next turn, right? Yep, absolutely. So then, then he's not shooting, not moving. Yep. Number four might have a problem, but let's see what the return fire does. Oof! Hit it, crit. Ugh. That is if Cavill's alive. Yeah, this is very true. Hit, hit. The crit is fuel leak, which uh, I don't think is going to matter because... Cavill will be at one. Yep. Five cards. I think he's calling it there. Ka okay. Cavill's not quite the arc dodger that yep. Yep. most ships are. Well, uh, Brian takes that game, just that early lead of being able to get rid of Fenrau so early. And spreading uh, that damage almost perfectly. Yeah, and I think, like you said, uh, Nathan was going for a bait and switch, and it just didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the risk you take with that type of, uh, that type of opening. So I want to say thank you to the players, and thank you to Curled Paw Creators for sponsoring this round of Mount Ma words are hard round two of the Minoc open I keep wanting to say system open it's not a system open <laughs> of the Minoc open uh, use coupon code Minoc 2018 for 20 percent off your entire order the whole shop everything from Legion X-wing uh, he's got some like different anime prints in there if you're if you're into that kind of stuff like all kinds of stuff uh, minimum order of ten dollars go ahead use that support them they support us you support us like it's it's this big giant circle of just of love and support <laughs> and it's fantastic but you know what time it is dallas you know what time it is is it swag time it's swag time swag time swag. brought to you by the canon cantina if you guys don't know who the canon cantina are they are an awesome podcast that are uh talking about star wars lore focused on Luke Skywalker specifically. So um, their hosts are uh, Jesse, formerly of the Vader's Finest podcast, and Mike of the 3.2 podcast, uh, company podcast, if you haven't heard of them. Uh, Mike is the guy, uh, if you've heard of Dialgate, he's not the guy who cheated. He was the guy who got cheated against. The victim. The victim. Heart, heart and love. Mike's a great man. And uh, they wanted to take the time so we could talk about Canon Cantina. I've been listening to their show. I'm big into Star Wars lore, and I really like this, the uh, like really down to earth, but also like really knowledgeable that they they are about uh, Star Wars lore. It's just it's just super awesome. So make sure you go ahead, uh, take a download, take a second, download their podcast, uh, hit them up on Twitter at the Canon Cantina and on Instagram at Canon Cantina, and uh, let's talk about some Star Wars stuff. Let's, let's talk about let's talk about um, the Star Wars lore and everything that we're we're doing. So let's uh, let's start giving some stuff away. Let's do it. So we hit the goal, and we are. Uh, let's start by giving away our four sets. We did that, right. but I got some extra stuff this round. So round two. Okay. We'll up the game. Uh, let's open up here. Let's activate yourself in the chat. How do you do act? How do you do that? Uh, wait, hold on. No, don't do it yet. My, uh, I remember I cleared my cash. Oh, we had to, so we I had had to sign had out. To, so stand by, everybody. Sign. Yeah. Time out. Up. Oh, hold on. Hang on. He has to make sure no one that's not Dion is logging in. That's correct. I remember? won't peek. Authorize. Okay, here we go. So to activate yourself in the chat, start typing now. Maybe even some gunboats. I like the gunboats. Lots of gunboats. They're 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 one of I, my have favorite. Have you been ships. looking for gunboats? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I can get a, a gunboat on stream today. All right, I'll, see I'll, keep, I'll keep an eye out. Keep your eye out. If somebody's one. being like really successful with them, I I would love to see that. I mean, I think they're kind of like my spirit animal, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> so um, our. Uh, our giveaways are not sponsored by Twitch in any way. I legally have to say these things. It's really weird. Mm -hmm. Not sponsored by Twitch. Anybody can win. Anybody who's watching. Uh, it just, to be completely honest, your chances are significantly higher. Like by like, what is, 
What's the number here? 10 times more likely to win by becoming a subscriber. So make sure, uh, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. All righty, so go ahead. Type, 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 type. Let's and give some stuff away. And if you haven't for a while, make sure you do again because he just logged himself back in. So he can't see your old posts. Yeah. From like a few minutes ago. Yeah. B wings are cool, man. All righty, let's do this. We got 67 people eligible right now. Uh, come on. Type, 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 type. All right, here we go. Ready? Drum roll. Three, two, one. Card set goes to Smittle Jones. Smittle Jones, you have won. You have won. Congratulations. He is a subscriber, and he has been following Gold Squadron Podcast since August 4th, 2018. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. Boom. Next person. Let's, let's do it again. Three, two, one, boom. The Machinator. Machinator. The, the Machinator. <laughs> you have won. Good job. Yeah. Do, do you think he's like re really, he like mocks people a lot? Like in that voice? Right. But like I mock at you. Right. Or like his, like also could be his like last name. His last name is Mock and he's like, but I need to make it like cooler. Machinator. I don't know. I have a feeling I know who that is. That's why. That's why I mentioned. Okay. It. So yeah, if if you win a raffle, by the way, you need to send me a Twitch whisper or a Facebook message through the Gold Squadron Podcast Facebook page. I know some of you and I are friends on Facebook, like, but messaging me to my personal uh, Facebook for this, honestly, it gets buried. But through the podcast page, I actually it actually creates like a list where I can like press. Have I you have you responded yet? Does don't send it to my personal Facebook. It will get lost. Okay. All right, next one. Card set number three goes to... Mm. Maishaz. Maishaz. Mishaz. Mishaz. All right. Mishaz, you have one. There you go. Subscriber and follower since May 3rd, 2018. All right, we got one more card set to give away. I'm bad at typing. There we go. There you go. And last one. You, you do it, Dallas. Go All ahead. All right. Drum roll. Clickety-click. Boom. Presto A Z. Presto. I wonder if he's good at cooking. <laughs> Presto. <laughs> but Arizona. Yeah. Alrighty. Next swaggity swag we're gonna give away. We have that other pair of re we'll call them retro. Retro. Works. Retro Minoc target locks. The it's plastic called. black and yellow. Yeah. From the original set. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Dion has to pretty them up right now. They still have the... Uh, That's right. They still have the paper on them. Let's get rid of that. In their original packaging. In their original... Not, so any you know, not so you know anymore. They're, good. <laughs> their value just plummeted. That's correct. <laughs> All righty. So that's them right there. You see them? Scree! Scree! Every round we're giving away something Minoc themed. We have to. We're at the Minoc Open. Yep. All righty. So make sure you guys are active in the chat. I'm going to put this. So this is the box of, like, stuff I've given away. So they go in here. Okay. Boop. Nobody else can have them. It's whoever this person is. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Roll it. Congratulations to Lingvarian. Lingvarian. Congrats. For, for winning your Mylox. <laughs> okay. Yes. dokie. Fantastic. So um, I have some more stuff, though, that I want to give away. Okay. All right. First. We have our Paul LaRue Y-Wing Alt Art, okay? Mm. Y-Wing Alt Art. This is um, actually in, so let's talk about my patrons, okay? Patrons, um, our next upcoming set actually features art that we've commissioned from Paul LaRue that we commissioned in first edition, and we, we're moving it over to the second edition version. So patrons are going to be getting that. There's also a mystery card in that set. And okay. in order to actually have the complete set of the Polaru cards, you need this one. Mm. Okay? But this is not part of the Patreon set. So, but I'm going to make sure patrons can get them. How is that? We're going to raffle it off. Okay? We're going to raffle some off to people right. who have become patrons. So let's see. I got some here. Let's, uh, let's do two. I don't want to go too crazy right now. We'll do two. We'll do two <laughs> right now. A little bit of leash. You still have to. There's a, there's a small stack there's here. A small <laughs> but it's still early in the day. It's, it's early in the day. So let me go ahead and pull up my list of patrons. Let's go ahead and do that. 
open up this window notifications so who's eligible for this raffle it's we're gonna do how about this actually we're gonna do two for people who have become patrons today or this weekend how about we call it this weekend and two peop from people who have patreon ever okay all right we'll do that so um what i'll do is we'll do the later patron late I don't, I don't, i'll do them on the podcast how about that that'd be probably a better time to do it and fa faster for me to get that ready in uh, <laughs> in pre but i can pull up our list of people who have pledged today okay that's starting much smaller list. right right here so it's a one two three four five it's out of five people right now so oh, one you know out of five. I, one out of five chance um we'll just here we go we're gonna have Siri choose. Okay. Number one through five. So have you done this before? I I, ha I have. So you, so Chris Rosile is number one. Okay, he's at the top of the list. Michael Rockwell is number two. Joshua News number three. Midwest Scum is number four. Uh, sorry, so it's uh, one out of four. Here we go. One out of four chance. Ready? Pick a number one. Siri, don't argue with me. <laughs> Pick a number one through four. That would be one. Number right one. There. Chris. Uh, focus. That would be one. I don't know if you can see that. You can't. Anyway, it's one. Can you confirm that that's yes, number one? one. Oh, okie dokie. So that means, Chris Rosile, you have won yourself a uh, the Gold Squadron Paul LaRue Y-Wing. Thank you so much for your support. And for whatever reason, I can't highlight your name, so I'm just going to have to type it. It's fine. You're worth it. All right, so PLR, Y wings, boom. Chris. Roselle. Rosile. Rosile. Easy. All right, we got one more. So now we just have to pick a number two through five. Two through or, five. Sorry, two through four. Excuse me. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll just do it again and see if Siri really likes Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We'll, uh, we'll reset our list just in case maybe somebody else has patroned uh, in the left. They're like, oh, I want to get in on this now. There's only one one out of four chances. Like, that's not bad. How long are we waiting? Uh, wait a couple seconds. Wait a, wait a little bit. All right, here we go. We'll do it. All right. They'll be eligible for the next one. Ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm Is Siri I, ready? I'm, is she ready? Yes. Pick a number two through four. Two. Numbers two. So that means Michael Rockwell, you have won yourself the Paula Rue Y Wing. Let's go ahead and get your name down on our list. Okay. Rockwell. Done. All right, guys. Fantastic. Round three. We got more prizes coming. We got more swaggity swag. What is what's some of the swag you have, Dion? I'm glad you asked. Well, I've been wondering when you're going to show some of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's just been, sitting, been like, sitting there, like, like right, right you, you guys, here. You don't know. You don't know. So um, we have some of the swag from the Minoc Open. So we have the mall card. Okay, this yep. is the regular one. Yep. But we also have. The, the spoil blast. one, the shiny. Look Shinies. at that. All right. We have the Howl Runner alt art. The dual sided. Yes, the dual sided one. Iden and Howl Runner. Howl Runner. Very smart idea. I wish I would have thought of it myself. <laughs> Very smart. But we also have the plastic version. The shiny version. Yeah, look at that. So, no, so if you get both, yeah. you have to choose who's your favorite. That's right. That's right. And, and we have two of the plastic Landos, double-sided. Oh, look, yeah. I have two of them in my hand. I can do this. There you isn't go. That, isn't that awesome? Yep. Like, that's, that's so cool. It's such a great idea. We got that. We also have some of the exclusive to Minoc open tokens. Hard All right. to tell. With it's kind of uh, hard with the, with the glare in this, in this room. Okay. But I'll tell you, these are the new second edition target locks. Number one, two, and one, two, three. and three. Yep. Okay. We've got the Minoc charge tokens and force tokens. Okay. Yep. Matching the the cream color and blue of the whole tournament theme. That's right. So we'll be giving we'll be giving those away uh, throughout the weekend. How do you become eligible for what and when? So um, what I'm going to be doing is all of the plastic cards 
all of the plastic cards are going to be for our patrons. Mm -hmm. Okay, those are going to be for the patrons. We're going to put those aside, and those will be happening uh, throughout the weekend. But these are so oh, sorry. One of the Landos, my bad. One of the Lando plastics, and these are all up for grabs for okay. Twitch. Okay, nice. Okay. Also, all of our tokens are up for grabs Ooh. for, they, for Twitch subscribers. Um, we also have we have more Polaru Y-Wings to give away. We got more card sets. We also have some cards that people came and donated. They said, Dion, we want you to give these away. And I said, let's make that happen. You know what, actually? Let's just give give All right, give some of these away right now. Leash is off still. The leash is off. We'll do we'll do one more. Actually, I forgot about it in the first round. To be completely honest, <laughs> they ambushed me. They're like, here's here's stuff. I was like, oh god. All right, which which stuff? So there's right. another set of piles. There's a pile of stuff over here over too. There. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Make sure it's off screen. No, can't, yeah. No spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. No spoilers. Should I give these away as a set or, or individually? You could start individually. Start individually. Well, that's, that's a good Tease idea. it to start. Tease it. Okay. So um, so this is, this is these prizes are provided by uh, Chewy's Fleas. All right. That's a group um, out of, oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. I, got, I, I, wanna, I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> okay. I, I have a feeling I know what it is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, and I want to make sure I say it right. They're saying this isn't sustainable for you, you know. What? This is not sustainable for you. Who? Who says that? It's sustainable. Common logic. I can, I can, <laughs> I'll give away everything. I'll give away it. I'll give it all the way. It's fun. I like it. Where did his message go? Hold on. Stay on target. First, he has to navigate his phone before S any prizes go Stay out. Stay on so target. Hopefully, he doesn't, you know, like lost the text okay i got it argentina i was right i had there it in my mind go. argentina so uh a group in argentina they've given me some some cards here you see their uh chewy's fleas uh is their name and we're gonna give away one of those cards let's go ahead and uh we'll start we'll start here this is a pretty sweet upgrade so i really like it uses um this full art here so we have a copy of um, alternate art Moldy Crow, okay. The title. The title, full art there, upgrade. And we're gonna go ahead and give that away to somebody on Twitch. All right, right, here we go. Like right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and press the button. If they weren't in chat, they, they just, they just, they're just too slow. They're yeah, just way too, too slow. slow. <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll give, we have, a, we have a, quite a few of them. So let's go ahead, uh, roll it. Dun, 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 dun. David, that's you, me, Davin Felf. 23. Davin Felt, 23. You have won that first card. Congratulations. There you go. So let's go ahead and write this down. This is the Moldy Crow. Bam. We got that done. Put that in the four other people pile. Got to make sure that we have. This is like the safe. The safe? It's, it's like, has it been given the away? very protective safe. Yes, yeah, very protective. With, with tape and everything. Shh. Very sticky tape. No one's getting through the that. The stickiest of tape. Well, it's by me. They have to fight me. If they want, if they want your prizes, they have to go through me. And you know, uh, this, I love giving stuff away, so it's super fun. But anyway, uh, we're gonna be back in a few minutes. We have. Uh, let's go ahead and get all this back up. We. Um, We've 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 had two great games. I think we're going to have round three, and then it's lunch, right? It should be round three, then lunch, uh, if we're sticking to the plan. All right, so uh, there will be a bit of a gap there, but we should probably up be up for next, because there's no there's no line for uh, for pairings, uh, sorry, for, uh, uh, turning in squads. for turning in squads right now. I don't know if people just got it done a lot faster, or the line hasn't commenced yet. It could be both. I could be a little bit of both. just about over. So. It's 1.30 Cali time right now, 1.30 Pacific. Let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a 15. Gonna gonna, gonna slap a 15 minute tax on yep. it. Okay. One uh 145 is gonna be my estimate for when we will be back. So let's go ahead and prepare that for you guys. Uh, for anybody looking in. Again, uh, we're gonna be doing raffles and giveaways 
all day, patrons and Twitch Prime subscribers. Um, patrons, the big thing that we're giving away is going to be uh, at the final, we're giving away a, a conversion kit. Okay? We're giving away a conversion kit. So those are... I always really like giving those away. Like uh -huh. that, that's fun. It's a big thing. Uh, your choice of either first order or resistance, and we know that those are dropping here pretty soon, so those should get shipped out uh, right away. Sweet. Uh, and then also, quick reminder, we have the Geek ADD stream uh, just that way. Um, they have the secondary stream going. Um, that game is over as well currently. But if you want two games at once, you can log into both. But don't give up on this one. This is the better one. <laughs> I'm supposed to be unbiased. <laughs> you know, they, they're, it's a one-shot thing for them, right? Yeah, like they, yeah it's they're, an unsustainable amount of work that they're doing. Yeah, like they, they put in, there's they a lot. They have a full crew. They, they, have, they have five people working, and uh, they own, like, like broadcasting equipment that, uh, that I can't use because I you have to You can't fit that on a plane. Correct. Right. Like, or the, I could. No seats is my plane. I'm, yeah, I'm looking at yeah. it right now over there. <laughs> it's only me. Nobody else can sit on this plane. So, yeah, so Stream B is Geek ADD on Twitch for those guys that are interested. And, again, they're going to probably be back at 1.45 p.m. All right, we'll be back. All right, see you guys.